You're a stranger out to me. Perhaps you have some other little charm. Though you wear the finest clothes, you have money, I suppose. So you may wind up my little ball of yarn. Now when that maid arose, and put on her pretty clothes, and had gone across to tell them at the farm. Before I could be seen, I had nipped across the green, after winding up her little ball of yarn. <laughs> now nine months passed by, <laughs> since that half a happy day, and I met her with a baby in her arms. She took one look at me and said, Yes, sir, you're the he. Who wound up my little boy? <laughs> <laughs> now there were there were two newlyweds. Who after they were wed, they went upstairs to bed, both feeling rather shy. She took out her glass eye <laughs> and her false teeth on the side, and hung her golden hair. Upon the chandelier, <laughs> she took off her wooden leg <laughs> and placed it on the floor. And what was left of her, she rolled between the blankets. <laughs> she said, I'm ready, dear. And I said, no bloody fear. <laughs> here among my souvenirs. That's it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>